Hello, everybody. Gage says it's empty. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Thanks a bunch for stopping by. I certainly do appreciate it. Guys, we're going to do a hot butcher for the world beer today. This is their Super Megabyte. And guys, I think I've had the Megabyte a couple times, but I think this is the first time I've had the Super Megabyte. And this is a big beer, guys. It's a ten and a half percenter uh, Imperial Triple, however you want to classify that. Uh, Citra and Amarillo Hop Triple IPA, 10.5% alcohol by volume. Uh, packaged on 6 6 of 2 2. So, Jeremiah, thanks a bunch for the awesome beers coming from your brewery there. I mean, uh, y'all guys are kicking the doors down. Alright, guys, let's get on with this one. Uh, over to Untapped, and of course, everybody knows they're up in Chicago area. Uh, no IBUs are given. Same thing on the front of the can for the commercial description. Looks like orange juice in the glass here on the pictures, guys. So let's find out. Without further ado, into the glass we go. All right. Yep, looks pretty citrusy, orange juice looking coming out. All right, we got just a tad here, three quarters of a finger. So that's pretty good for a ten and a half percenter. So yeah, oh, we got we got some sediment in this one, guys. I mean, almost looks like a film. That's that's not good. I don't I don't like to see that hazy film look like jellyfish in there, guys. I mean. Yeah, they got the big globs in there. Yeah. They're pretty good. But it's got some stuff in it, guys. So hopefully we'll swirl that out. It didn't look like that. One of those churn of Finn, Finn Brewing or something like that. I mean, yeah, I couldn't I couldn't drink it. Guy said he had one out of that same batch and it was alright. After 20, 30 minutes and it's still doing this in the glass, I'm just not going to put that in my stomach. So anyway, guys, looks like orange juice. Looks pretty good. I mean, there are some stuff accumulating in the bottom now, but like I said, that's just unfiltered, comes out, and it's just hops. I mean, might be a little bit of yeast in there, but nothing that's going to hurt you for sure. So anyway, uh, as long as it settles to the bottom like that, I don't have a problem with it. What about you? Hmm? To the nose we go. Very citrusy, guys. I mean, the citra and amarillo hops work really good together. I have brewed with both of these hops. Citrusy, orangey, maybe a little grapefruit. Maybe even some tropical fruit notes in there. Might get a peach or a mango in there. Smells pretty good, guys. So, let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Jeremiah. Everybody, hot butcher. You guys are right. Super tasty, guys. It's almost like orange juice in the glass. A little bit of alcohol to this, 10.5%. Tastes fine to me. It don't taste boozy. 10, 12 years ago, it might have been a little boozy to me. Cause depends on where your palate is, guys. What you're used to drinking. I'm not saying I drink a 10.5% every day, but I've had my share, I think, over the years. So, uh, somebody that's never had one or hadn't had very many, it might be a different story as far as being able to walk to the bathroom when you're done, especially if you've had more than one. So guys, that's a, it's a back end pour in, super tasty beer guys, I'm just expecting anything less, but like I said, we got some junk in the trunk on this one. See coming out, big chunkies, so all that's going to settle down in the bottom and as the beer warms up, which it will, I always let it come to room temperature. Sometimes even more than room temperature because I go outside on the deck and sit with it. And that's where I'm headed now because I can go out there and puff on a cigar. Can't do that in the house. So 
I'm swore my head too. I'll be right back. Alright guys, I'm back. Got a little bit left here and as I got down to about right there, I started swirling it up and uh, I think we've got it all mixed up now. And like I said, none of that's going to hurt you. It's going to add more flavor, more taste. A lot of people don't care for that. Now I used to be in that crowd, so uh, as long as the surface of the bottom don't keep turning, yeah, uh, we'll probably give it a swirl. Final choke. Very nice. Bottom's clean. A nice high test hit of citrusy juiciness at the end. Very, very tasty, guys. It's a solid A for me. And if you said, oh my god, it's a 10, I wouldn't argue with that. So, I mean, it is pretty damn tasty for a 10.5%. Alcohol's decently well hidden for that big of an ABV beer. So, definitely would be on my list if I could buy it here. So, uh, if you can, I suggest you try it. Buy one. If you like it, go buy more. Send me some. All right. I ain't begging. All right, guys. Solid day. 95 for me. Over to Beer Advocate. They say 90. I think it's better than that. Over to Untapped the Hammond at 4.36. That's in their solid day category. Also, I agree. Solid day, guys. I mean, definitely worthy, especially if you like a Imperial Double IPA, however you want to call that. This one fits the bill. Tasty, tasty. If you've had Super Megabyte from Hot Butcher for the World, let me know what you think. To meet again, let's go see what's in the fridge.